um, combining different elements. Like for example, right now here we have this uh, designer chair mm -hmm. that's actually your work yeah uh, and it looks amazing it's yeah, one thank of a kind you. <laughs> so it's already a piece of art yeah and if um, somebody want to not steal the the glamour uh maybe to not have all these elements or to pick only one of the painting and in the original shape you don't have these paintings you have mm -hmm. only the yeah Collage. Yeah, then we only have, yeah, I can just remove it so you, so you can see it. So it's a bit more empty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So now it looks much more clean for the eye. It yeah. doesn't make yeah. you tired. Yeah, and it's also, I think about, it, it's kind of the same as what I mentioned in the hallway, that you don't make everything speak that's on there. Mm -hmm. Because if you put these frames back on, you actually fill the whole space. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you have to look at the pictures and the frames and the candles because they are a bit weird and the flowers because they have a lot of color and it's really everything is talking to you and now your eye is more guided to first color because this is just in your brain it's just something you do as a human <laughs> everything that's brightly colored is probably edible so you're gonna look at it and then after this you're like okay uh, probably looking at the pictures because there's more contrast and then you see what's underneath which is not so important because this is like for the dog this is like something I tried to integrate in the home because I mean it's ugly <laughs> but you need it when you get a puppy so <laughs> it better be there so we actually put it in black on black so it won't stand out too much uh, but she still has her own place and then I have of course my chair next to this because sometimes I use this as a desk just to write something down quickly or make a phone call or, or anything. So I actually also need the empty space yeah. to, uh, yeah. to, to have a functional uh, space over here. And then I think it's also nice that it's this black chair with this black desk and this black wall because it's not all screaming for attention, but like now you're a bit longer in the room, you don't live here, and then you start seeing things like this, like, oh yeah, that's that's kind of a weird chair. What is it doing there? Who, who made it? Uh, why is it Why is it over there? Is it a functional one? Is it more like uh, an artwork? Can you actually sit on it? <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's, that's the way it works. You try to steer your view on the things that you put in the room. In the comparison, let's first talk about that one in the kitchen, oh, yeah. why it fits yeah. and why it's sure. good. So now we are going to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So here I actually put this um, bigger painting and I think this could be uh, a nice example of something you buy because you are like at a gallery or anywhere you're gonna and you just want to find some nice art and you're like okay I'm having this pretty outspoken kitchen <laughs> I think I can say that and I want something to hang there but it's already a room that's really outspoken in color and still it's quite big and then you find this which has exactly the right shade of red in there but also some softer color and still uh, this big shape that is talking to you because I think that is something you need in a room like this if you put a painting like this uh, if you imagine that this circle would not be on the painting and it would be something abstract all over the canvas like this it would not talk to you as much as when this shape is in here it's really helping to balance the uh, this red shape with this red shape and then something going on over there so this would really be an artwork that i would buy like okay i want something on the wall i want it to look nice i want it not to drown in all the colors and the shapes that are over here that would really work uh, very good uh, and I can show you because this, the si I think the size is great for, for this space. And I put this over here, which also has a little bit of the red in here, which could also be like a treasure you find. And you can be like, oh yeah, I, I, sh I should take this for my kitchen. Uh, but then the shape is totally different. And you can already see what it does with the other stuff that I have. It's not that much, but it's, it's quite a shape and it has some color and some shine in there. And uh, this would drown a little bit more in the space than the big one that was um yeah that was here before like a part of, of the group that you said yeah and much less mm -hmm. nice and like yeah. a very yeah look at me look at me yeah so this could actually work here but it then you need something probably more. need to group yeah. here yeah. and not yeah. um uh, like with the other painting uh, you make this super huge group over there which i really like i i like big art yeah. <laughs> 
and this would need something uh, or maybe like two that could also work if you would have uh, an artwork that's actually complementary to this one or like a duo or something. This is a very light frame. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's interesting also with combination and making a contrast and still yeah. it's not completely black, it's not completely white. Yeah. So they're in between it's an colors, in -between bo color. both of yeah. them. Yeah. yeah, and I think for the style, because this bigger one doesn't have a frame, uh, but it is on the canvas and that I also really like because it has this... Uh, our kitchen has all these hard materials, like this is wood, but it is painted so yeah. it looks high gloss and this is really hard this is really hard so what's super nice about this is that it's soft so it's it actually also helps to improve sound because i just put it up here and i don't have this echo <laughs> of my own voice yeah. talking <laughs> so that's a great uh property too i think uh and then if you put on this which is a bit harder still it has some soft wood and some natural quality and also this this paper that's behind there makes it a bit softer because it's literally not that soft. It just feels, uh, it really feels different when you put it up here. I, I, I like the, the qualities of this one really uh, fit in the room. Uh, and this one is just, for me, it would be too hard over here. Yeah, another thing is that this is glass, right? Yeah. So when you have glass uh, contra jour, yeah. It really makes a yeah. mess. You don't see anything. Yeah, yeah that's that's Sometimes actually really true. Lights. Yeah, yeah. If you have a room with a lot of windows, you should definitely check on how many glass you're using. And this doesn't yeah. have that problem at all. Yeah. Actually, this one with the darker colors in it, it yeah. it 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 feeds on the light almost. Yes, exactly. It feeds on the yeah. light. Very very well said. Like yeah, little lamps on the ceiling, yeah, they they really do a light spot yeah, on it. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, that's actually good. funny because the kitchen was already here. We, we we rebuilt a lot of the house, but this part we we left because kitchens are quite expensive. <laughs> And then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna make a challenge out of this room to, to make it nice. And all the walls were like a, a beige color. And uh, we actually have a light from the east over here. So beige not, was not so nice. So I put a pretty outspoken color on it. And personally, I hate spots. <laughs> but actually for lighting art, or just nice stuff you collect for, yeah, those are my boyfriends. <laughs> like a little collection of nice uh, bottles and cans. Spots are perfect for it. So it's it's really perfect lighting for your artworks or for your collections or, or, or statues or anything you, uh, you want to highlight in your home. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend it for general lighting because yeah, I prefer lighting that's convenient uh, for the, the place you work. So for example, here you, make the dinner and you would really need some good light here and yeah. now it's in the back and yeah yeah so actually not only the the, the uh, spots but also yeah the uh, shelf yeah kind of that's also inner light yeah it's, it's also so this uh, th this uh, this up lighting that you can uh, that you can use this is a nice trick when we're talking about art and displaying your art, I think uh, spots or just lighting from above is, is perfect. You also have uh, this type of um, another type of having art in yeah. the kitchen, yeah. like much more a uh, pottery style. Yeah, yeah, they're actually souvenirs. Which is very nice. <laughs> yeah, holiday souvenirs. And, and one comes from Greece and the other one, the can, the, the can, I actually don't remember where, I, where I, when we came to live here, this, this was also like, oh yeah, I'm gonna search for a room which this fits in, or I'm gonna use it, but it's too pretty to yeah. use. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna hang it here on the wall. And when, when, when we uh, chose the color, we actually did, I actually oh, did bring the, the plate and, uh, and some stuff that I wanted to put in here to uh, at least match a little bit together. <laughs> Also, this wall, would you rather use it for any art or you will keep it to be clean and to not yeah, make well, too much noise? Yeah, well, actually, uh, uh, we kept it clean because this uh, radiator is over here. Uh, it was already in the house and I quite liked it. So I was like, yeah, it can be there. <laughs> uh, and it's al already really filling this up. And it's more of a functional thing that we don't put any art in because when I'm like cooking here and I'm moving or we pass by or it's 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 actually just too small to really hang something on the wall 
uh, or it should be up super high, but then it would be competing with uh, with this fixture, fixture and what's happening over there. And you would actually look at all these ugly stuff that's over there. <laughs> I would rather look at what's uh, happening over yeah, here. Yeah, and also in that case, it should be very well protected because yeah. probably the greasiness yeah, of cooking yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, already, yeah. like, it, 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 I think it comes uh, at least to here, so then it should be hanging mm -hmm. over here just... Uh, But really close to the otherwise radiator. Otherwise, this can be good space for yeah. collages, photos, and not very heavy stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't put this there. Yeah, that It is really too big. But but something small could actually fit. Maybe even something small and long. Oh, yeah. That's that's yeah. Uh, kind of speaking with with this thing happening over here. Uh, and now you said this. I'm thinking about something different. The spot where you put the art in your home, uh, that could be a nice tip. Is when you Uh, what we did in the hallway when you entered, yeah. you actually saw this. So yes. that would be some place to put somewhere either functional or beautiful. Uh, you could do this through all the homes. So you come in here and then you make a turn and you come in there. So there's this beautiful big painting. But also when you live here, you come through the back door. So it would also be this one when you come in. And also this is a spot, like you said, when you turn around, you immediately look at this and there is something happening. But it could also be a place for art. And in this way, you could like walk through your home uh, and decide um, what are the the the, the hot spots, the, the 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 most visible spots in your home to uh, to enjoy your uh, your artworks. So yeah, let's see the contrast then yeah. in that sense. Yeah, we can actually put it on both walls. So I could. So you. it's not about the size. No, it's not, it's not if about you have the size. A big size wall, use a big size painting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if you would put it here, here you have like 50-50 black and white. But you can, I think you can already see what the black is doing on this, and then in this corner, that the black is actually uh, uh, strengthened. So you make it a more uh, a darker painting in this way. And then if I put it on this side. Where my pictures are now, I can just put it like this. You can also already see, I could put this on top of it. Because here actually still is a lot of light from the window. So it's different than, than mm -hmm. in the back where I just showed Absolutely. you. But you can already also see that this black is really doing something with the colors in the painting instead of the... Uh, the purple bluish wall that's in the kitchen which make which makes it uh, more alive and a more vivid painting and here it becomes a, uh, a lot more serious i exactly. think <laughs> serious is exactly like, oh, what you I have some serious art, yeah. art in your home and there it's like oh that's a fun painting yeah um so it's it's either uh, which you which you prefer of course but i uh, i would definitely prefer it to be uh, to be in the kitchen and be a more vivid painting mm -hmm. uh, Uh, instead of on the black uh, on the black wall. Also, kind of uh, red and blue goes very nice together, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, if you have a open big wall, don't place the biggest painting there. No, it's not necessarily <laughs> the best spot for the biggest painting. <laughs> <laughs>